Hi, I'm David de Kramer, the Dunton Family Dean at the Moore McKim School of Business at Northeastern University. Today, the biggest risk in business is not using AI. What does artificial intelligence mean for business schools? What are the implications that AI brings with it when it comes down to educating our future business leaders? Well, first of all, we want to make sure that we're educating them in the best way possible so they can be AI savvy leaders. And for us at DMSB, AI savvy leaders means that they can tackle business challenges when using the tools of AI to create more business value in responsible and holistic ways. So all the stakeholders are served. Second, this also means then that we need to find a certain way of teaching our students. How can we make sure that our students will graduate as AI savvy leaders? To really push forward this goal, we incorporated this as a central theme in our new mission at the Moore McKim School of Business. Our mission is really to educate students to be socially responsible leaders of the world who are capable to work, navigate and create in a tech enabled environment. Now, today, I'm very proud and honored to tell you that we've achieved a milestone. Today we can introduce to you our own AI innovation hub called DASH, the Moore McKim AI Strategic Hub. We've been promoting the understanding, the adoption and the use of AI in our classrooms, our research, our corporate outreach and our own societal functioning where we use AI for good. Today is a day for all our students, our alums, our faculty and staff to be proud of our school for all these achievements that we've done with DASH. And I hope with the help of all of you that we'll be able to do so much more even in the near future. Thank you. Thank you, Dean De Kremer, for sharing your vision about AI and its impact at Demore McKim. I'm Kwong Chan, Executive Director of the Demore McKim AI Strategic Hub, otherwise known as DASH. DASH integrates all perspectives across the entire college, across the whole business school, regardless of discipline or role. So that's teachers, that's researchers, that's students, that's companies. And the whole purpose of DASH is to accelerate social good through technology and leadership, and artificial intelligence plays a key role in making that happen. One thing we do is enhance research uh, productivity through providing AI resources. We enhance pedagogical and teaching productivity by developing understanding of how AI enhances student learning. Another aspect of what we do is collaborate with companies to identify workshops and particular avenues for AI collaboration. Leaders need technology, leaders need human perspective, and what role AI plays in both those areas is largely unknown. So Dash is quite solution-centric. We try to find an answer to a problem and only bring in AI if it's necessary. One aspect of our success, I think, in recent times is Dash Box. It's a desktop with RAM and a GPU. It's bigger and more powerful than what most people have in their laps or on their desktops, but not as powerful as a cloud, but also less complicated than a cloud. So many researchers want bigger resources, but they don't need a massive computing warehouse. Dash Box gives them an order of magnitude better compute power at much lower cost of entry. So as a global integrator of perspectives across the business school, Dash has found a compute box and compute consulting resources has dramatically accelerated adoption of AI. Some of my faculty colleagues have been finding great success in using AI in their research, including Professor Chris Rydell, who will now share some of his insights. I'm working on a lot of projects around AI in different areas. And one of them is I actually train my own AI models. And um, for that, you need access to GPUs and lots of high-powered hardware. So with Dash, I'm mostly involved on the research side. And one of the things I do is I'm heavily using the AI hardware that we have purchased and built up. And that hardware is really useful for my research because having access to your own hardware makes doing any kind of this AI research just so much easier. It's incredibly useful. And in fact, I've underestimated tremendously like how much of an input it makes to my research. My prediction about the future is that no one is going to do any research without using AI. And whether that's a qualitative researcher who 
um, transcribes and analyzes interviews with key informants or whether that's people analyzing large data sets or even just doing literature reviews. You will not be doing that without using AI very, very heavily. And so there's going to be more demand for AI support for, for everyone at the business school and the university and science more broadly. We are leading in how we are embracing AI for our research and teaching endeavors across the field. And we're encouraging faculty to use AI, do research around AI, do research around the impact of AI, and also use it in their teaching and learning and how they um, kind of mentor their students and interact with students. Another way we've been using AI at the moment, Kim, is in the classroom. Please meet Professor Zainab Axahurli, who has been experimenting with advanced AI methods in her instruction. I'm in um, MOD department here, Management and Organizational Development. Um, I'm an associate professor. I'm also involved with DASH, the, uh, the MSB AI strategic hub. AI impacts our teaching in all aspects of it, basically, both from the student side and the instructors, the content creation side. On the student side, it gives us the option to give more personalized feedback, have quicker turnaround in terms of the feedback we are giving. And on the instructor side, we are using it, oh, I'm using it for um, creating alternative examples, let's say, or coloring some of the stories I'm telling along with the theories or concepts that I'm um, telling them about. But then specifically this semester, I'm actually in a group that integrates AI uh, dash box into grading and, like I mentioned, giving feedback to students in a timely manner. And we're actually trying to compare the human feedback with the AI feedback and seeing which one creates more of a learning for the students. Yeah. So the course I'm teaching is writing intensive. So they're creating lots of lots of writing output for business analysis and timely feedback is an important component for them to expand their writing skills. We are using Dashbox is, like I mentioned, increasing the efficiency of the feedback that we're giving so we can turn things around quicker, which means we can do more iterations in terms of learning, different ways of writing, different ways of um, giving ob objectives. We also are able to give politer feedback, if mm -hmm. you will. <laughs> so because when you're giving uh, feedback as an instructor or TA, with the limited time, you're, you tend to be rude even. <laughs> uh, but the AI has, uh, time or efficiency to give much smoother feedback that would potentially be perceived uh, better by the student and absorbed better and be more growth oriented rather than uh, critique oriented. Dash is a good place to contact or communicate with others that are experimenting with it, learn new perspectives and learn ways of integrating AI into our um, instruction delivery. As you can see, our students are in good hands. As we speak, they're being exposed to AI at Demol McKim. Please listen to some of our students share their experiences and what they're learning and why it's important. My name is Matt Connor, and I'm an MBA student at Northeastern, uh, finishing up in 2025. Uh, I also got my bachelor's and master's in industrial engineering from Northeastern. And uh, these days I live it out in Oregon and I'm the quality manager at a manufacturing company. I see AI as a critical tool for the future, not just for my company, but for me and for other companies. Um, and I'm excited to learn how to apply AI here so that we can bring, uh, bring digital transformation to a wider audience. Um, for me, AI is not about um, some of the negative aspects that people talk about, like losing jobs or losing humanity, but how do we get more efficient so we can do things like make less waste, um, make less carbon output, make better products. And I'm really excited to see how these AI tools evolve. And while I wouldn't have uh, two or three years ago put myself in a position to say, I wanna lead a digital transformation, that's where I'm trying to go now, is how do I help lead digital transformations in companies? 
it is very important to make sure that we're being ethical with our AI implementation. So um, certainly that means to me that AI doesn't make decisions on its own, that humans are always in the loop to help make sure that decisions are being made correctly. I think that AI is going to be relevant and stay relevant um, today and in the future. So I think it's just best to learn more about it and get familiar with it, know how to use it and stay ahead. Working with it is inevitable. So why not just use the opportunity and the resources given to me now at Northeastern to learn about AI. As I was taking this uh, badge course, I realized just how much AI affected every single step of the business process and innovation process. Um, but it's really not about AI. What I learned in my classes is that it's about the people working with it. Honestly, I didn't know much about AI before taking courses here, and it really became big while I was learning here at Northeastern. For example, it's shaped my career aspirations in the way that, okay, I want to go into marketing, and I, I never really knew specifically what in marketing, but now I know I have this goal to learn more about digital marketing and how AI can affect digital marketing. We are very excited about what's in store for Dash. We'll continue to grow our focus on AI and research and expand our portfolio in AI for good and business. So as a global integrator of perspectives across the business school, Dash has found a compute box and compute consulting resources has dramatically accelerated adoption of AI. We have multiple researchers now competing for space and time on our Dash compute box. And we have to schedule them back to back or sometimes at the same time to try to get their work done more quickly. Uh, research deadlines are a thing, just like deadlines in the real world. We have classes being run in real time where we try to get feedback to the faculty and to the students. At the moment, with our limited but impressive use of resources, we have compute, but not enough compute. We have great AI human interaction research engineers, but not enough. You don't just want a box. You want a human to help people use the box. So Dashbox, a great success, and I wish we had more of them, really, to further accelerate understanding and adoption of AI. Now, some final thoughts from Dean de Crema. So as you've seen in this video, we've done a lot. We've achieved a lot. It's out there. Our students, faculty, they all know about it. They're working with artificial intelligence. But of course, it's a field that develops rapidly and education has to adapt. So we need to do so much more and we can also do so much more. But we'll need your help with this. We organize many events for our corporates our executives, our alums, our students, faculty contribute to it, and we want to keep that momentum going when it comes down to using AI for our teaching, for our research, and for our societal functioning. So if you're interested, you want to participate, you want to contribute, please let us know. Don't hesitate, because AI is not waiting, our education is not waiting, and we want you to be part of this great ambition that we have to stay up front there in this field and be the leading business school that the Moore McKim School of Business is and deserves to be.